need you to wear your lab coat. I need two days of outrageous sex with someone obscenely younger than you, like half your age. Wear the coat. Man, oh man, someone got spanked real good this morning. I gives a hundred million dollars to cure cancer. Pretty small concession to wear a lab coat. Cure cancer? Is the hospital getting out of the dull business of treating patients? You know that's not what he's doing. I know exactly what he's doing. He's using us to run clinical trials. Oh, shame on him. Saving lives like that. It's unethical. Oh, are you coming in too? Oh, I thought I had you convinced. Clinical trials save thousands of lives. He's using patients as guinea pigs. Pharmaceutical companies do that every day. Are we a pharmaceutical company? We're gonna wind up pressuring desperate patients into choices that are bad for them, good for us. We're gonna compromise patient care. Who the hell am I talking to? Suddenly ethical lapses are a major concern for you? What's interesting is it suddenly doesn't bother you. So if you ignore ethics to save one person, it's admirable, but if you do it to save a thousand, you're a bastard. All he's done is taken your game and gone pro. He's not gonna kill a few patients. He's gonna kill this hospital. It took him three seconds to size you up. And surprise, he doesn't like you. Wear the damn coat. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Foreman. I work with Dr. House. Our initial tests say you're fine. We think you had a clot, but it resolved on its own. So we're gonna keep you overnight to be safe, and you can go back home tomorrow, or back to work. Hey, you okay? <laughs> Get in here! I need a line in her! I be morphing! Stack! Okay, see, now you're just being stubborn. It's cold. Perfectly good excuse to wear your lab coat. Carly needs a heart transplant. Thoracentesis revealed a transidate? Haven't gotten it back yet. Or a MUGA scan. What was the ejection fraction? Maybe you could treat it surgically. I haven't done a MUGA. How do you know she needs a heart transplant? I got my aura read today. It said someone close to me had a broken heart. Since when do I need the secret passcode to talk to you? I can't tell you anything. Professional responsibility. Like that matters to you? Not my professional responsibility. Yours. <clears throat> no regime. You gotta keep your head down, too. Now, that's good thinking, because I was going to go right to Cuddy and rat you out as soon as you were done I'm talking. I'm not saying you'd want to. I'm saying you'd be obligated to. Because of my position on the board? Because of my position on the transplant committee? Hey, you brought this up for a reason. You need to talk to me. I can't. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? I've come up with a few really great rationalizations. Sorry to interrupt. We have a problem. Thoracentesis revealed a transidate. We did an echo. She's in severe congestive heart failure. She needs a heart transplant. We'll get her on the list immediately. She's and already on the list. Come in. Thanks. What is a Department of Diagnostic Medicine? That's Dr. House's department. They deal with cases that other doctors can't figure out. It's a financial black hole. The department costs us $3 million a year to treat one patient a week. He saves one patient per week. What about everyone else? His department's not going to find the cure for breast cancer. Uh, maybe not, but... You're sleeping with House? What? No. But you did, right? Long time ago? That's an incredibly inappropriate question. If your judgment is compromised by a prior or current relationship, that is my business. I respect him. That is all you need to know. He's still not wearing the coat. Well, I told him. I'm sure you did. And yet he's not wearing it. I'm just wondering if that's a reflection on him or on you. Dr. House, I found a picture online of you at a conference. You need a heart transplant. I run, I work out. You I... cut yourself. 
probably highly ritualized. You play the same Sarah McLachlan song over and over while you do it. it. Probably works better than antidepressants. I don't understand how that. You're a high-powered bulimic. You make yourself throw up. You have to find the most efficient way to vomit without revealing the telltale signs of bulimia, which it's all ooh, very unseemly for a CEO. So you found a common antidote to accidental poisoning to do the job, Ipecac, which is great if your kids just swallowed a bottle of aspirin, but really, really bad if it's a habit. Causes muscle damage, cause the pain in your leg, and destroyed your heart. How often do you do it? Three times a week. In about an hour, there's going to be an emergency meeting of the transplant committee to discuss where you fall on a list should a new heart become available. Problem is, I am required to tell the committee about your bulimia. It's a major psychiatric condition. Ranks right up there with suicidal. Makes you a very bad risk. So you're here to tell me I have just a few hours to live? Unless I lie to the committee. But if they find out, I lose my medical license. This would be a very good time to offer me a bribe. You know, how much is your life worth? How much is my job worth? Why are you here doing this to me? What do you want? I want to know what's right. Am I worth it? You think I'm pathetic. Has a good job, everything in the world, but she just doesn't like the way that she oh, looks. Oh, stop hiding! I'm asking you if you want to live or die. You can't even say that. What do you want me to do? Cry? Yes! I want you to tell me that your life is important to you, because I don't know. Because that's what's on the table right now. Your life. I don't want to die. I don't. This 32-year-old female was admitted by my staff because of paralysis and pain in her right thigh. The patient rapidly deteriorated and now has severe congestive heart failure. Pressors and vasodilators have not improved her condition whatsoever. Pulmonary function tests show an FEC of over 3 liters with FEV1 of at least 90% of predicted and preserved FEV FEC ratio and preserved DLCO as well. Her MUGA had an ejection fraction of 19% with no focal wall motion abnormalities. Heart catheterization revealed clean left-right circumflex arteries, and subsequent biopsy revealed irreversible cardiomyopathy, which is why we're here. Uh, Dr. House, I'm confused by your time and date stamps. It appears that you put Carly on the transplant list before you did these tests. I had a hunch. You don't have hunches. You know. Look, if the test had come back differently, obviously I would have taken her off the list, but on the long shot. On the long shot that I was right, I didn't want to waste time. Is there any exclusion criteria we should know about? CAT scan revealed no tumors, and Dr. Wilson found no trace of cancer. What about any other criteria? No atherosclerotic vascular disease. Uh, are there any? No pneumonia, no bacteremia, no hep B or C or any other letters. Substance abuse, any history of? No alcohol, uh, no drugs. Any psychiatric conditions, history of depression? She's a little blue, but turns out she needs a heart transplant. Dr. House, if you subvert or mislead this committee, you will be subject to disciplinary action. Dr. Cuddy, do you have any reason to think that I would lie 
I simply want you to answer the question. Is there anything on the recipient exclusion criteria that would disqualify your patient from getting a heart? No.